Parakas here and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to walk you through my day one in Melbourne wherein I took a day trip to this place called Grampians. People usually do 12 apostles and other places which I have also done so stay tuned for my vlogs and I really wanted to explore Australia which is little offbeat where most of the people don't go but it is still open for exploration. Um, I took this tour on uh, Get Your Guide. I'm going to link the tour down below and if you guys are planning your Melbourne trip you can uh, use this link and uh, book your trip as well. After being picked up we travelled over the Westgate Bridge which is the longest bridge in Australia and uh, actually Melbourne and Sydney have this kind of rivalry wherein they want to be better than Sydney. So this bridge is just few inches longer than the one in Sydney and earlier they were going to make a tunnel but just because Sydney had a bridge they made a bridge. We reached this town called Beaufort for our morning tea with this amazing countryside views and autumn trees all around. I had a bread and hot chocolate here from this local bakery and uh, there was a washroom shop as well and unlike Europe you need not pay anything to go to the washroom. Our guide from A Utopia Travels, Daniel, also explained us a lot of history and gave us a lot of fun facts here and while reaching this place. Our next stop was Ararat, a town that we crossed on the way before we got our first glimpse of Grampians or as the Damn Aboriginals yeah. call it Jerivad before we reached yeah. here. Our next stop was Bambrook Cultural and Information Centre where our guide here you can see is explaining us about the six seasons of Jerrywald and connection between the local indigenous have uh, with the land for thousands of years. We heard stories about how the Irish and British backstabbed the Australian Aboriginal tribes by you know offering them food but including poison in them. Here outside this Bambrook information was the first time that I saw a kangaroo in my life and with such vicinity. The guide told us that we should be lucky to see kangaroos here and we really were. Please do not try and go and hug them or whistle to get their attention. Let them be and you also be, you know, by looking at them from far off. They are gorgeous, aren't they? I was so happy to see them. And then next we continued to our uh, another town and countryside which is called the Halls Gap. Another countryside town where locals usually come with their caravans to spend a night here in camping. And with respect to vegetarian food, there are limited options available like a salad which I paid Australian $12 here. The town is extremely beautiful and if you guys have time in Melbourne, do come here for a night out in camping. The ice creams here were handmade and they cost Australian dollars 5. So basically you are given time to just look around the town and explore and eat in these cafes. That's, um, On the way, we saw this uh, mountain which is made of, of the, volcanic uh, lava and tectonic plates. Before reaching our next stop, which is called Jaws of Death or Balconies. And I was literally rewarded with the best views over Victorian Valley. Everything was part of the package and all these stops were included with this day trip itself. 
we stretch our legs here with a lookout point called balconies with a short trek or trail i would rather say of all, only a kilometer which was very easy and took somewhere around 10 to 15 minutes the views here again with victorian valley were astoundingly beautiful it was windy the climate was perfect it was june 2022 and somewhere around 15 to 20 degrees with wind Moving on to our next destination which is Mackenzie Falls and even here there was a small trek or trail for a kilometer and we took just 10 to 15 minutes to reach these falls. Our guide was with us throughout. He also waited if you know in case you are slow like me, he'll wait for everybody to come and then go ahead. This mountain to trail down was called Mount Difficult, but it is not difficult at all. You also end up making a lot of friends when you are traveling solo and when you join these kind of trips, just like, just like how I did. I befriended people from Brazil, Korea, Singapore, Japan, New Zealand, everywhere from the world. Our next stop for the day was Boroka Lookout wherein we had brilliant views which overlooks the western plains of Victoria, Mount William and it's called Wonderland because it really is a wonderland and these mountains that you see here with lakes is called Serra Ranges. And moving onwards to our last destination before the guide drops us back to our hostels in Melbourne was a place where we saw kangaroos in the wild. There were literally 10 to 15 kangaroos in my 10 to 20 meters of vicinity. And this is the first time or second time in this day and in my life that I have seen so many kangaroos around me. And not in a zoo of course because that's clear animal abuse. Don't be around them for a long time and don't try to hug them or put. do not put on your flash on while clicking the pictures. Respect the animals in the wild and let them be. You enjoy them while they are enjoying their freedom in the nature. If you guys want to see that I'm headed next and uh, you want more information on my next travel destinations, for that you'll have to subscribe to my channel. So the button's right below, please do it. <laughs>